Shares of the world's largest spirits company, Diageo, surging today after reporting earnings this morning. The company, which produces brands like Johnny Walker, Smirnoff, attributing the results in the upbeat forecast to gains pretty much around the world, especially though in China and India, also announcing a more than $865 million share buyback. I did speak with CEO Ivan Menezes in a first on CNBC interview this morning. Asked him about the strength, particularly in China. Both those businesses are growing double digit, and in part because the trends towards private consumption and people wanting to drink better, and in the case of Scotch, discover new special whiskies, uh, that still uh, that trend is strong, and we benefit from it. Uh, and so as I look out, the, the consumer, we are not immune from uh, an economic or consumer confidence slowing down, but we're better positioned because our, our business and its company specific, uh, uh, we've got uh, very good businesses that are on trend. On the U.S., we've seen increasing signs that this is a good consumer environment, but it may be as good as it gets for now. Consumer confidence, for instance, recently slipped. Can you look down into the future, the rest of 2019 and into 2020? Do you see any evidence of a slowdown for the U.S. consumer? Hard to see a sustained uh, shift yet, uh, but as you point out, we're watching it closely. People are moving uh, to spirits and cocktails in a bigger way from wine and beer and people are trading up for more premium brands. That trend is very strong and continues on a secular basis. So while there will be some impact from an economic slowdown, we're not seeing it yet. Pretty optimistic, upbeat take there on the U.S. consumer from Diageo CEO. U.S. is a big source of their business. It's not growing as fast as places like China and India, guys, but still he does not see any shift or downturn in the consumer, as far as the trends that are working right now, two words, tequila and gin, both seeing double digit, yeah, gin, gin. especially in the UK.